Hey, what's happening to you guys? Piracy and welcome back to another video. So I just got done watching the Sonic Frontiers reveal trailer. The 7 minutes gameplay and I'm gonna be honest with you. I am massively disappointed. Massively disappointed. Um, nothing about the reveal trailer or reveal gameplay was impressive in the slightest bit. In the slightest bit. If I were to give you an analogy just to get you to understand why I felt this way. It lit the whole state, the whole map, literally feels, felt like a tech demo map and they just ripped out Sonic Forces and just threw him into that map. I've seen fan games that look much more fun than what I just saw today. The saving grace for this game will have to be the, um, the cyberverse, the cyber maps, the ones that where the rumors and the leaks were saying that it, it had a more reminiscent to unleashed stages. Other than that, honestly, if you want to know exactly how this game is going to play, there's a Roblox game uh, that was officiated by Sega that you can try out. It's That's just it. This just looked massively boring, and the way that they played it out, trying to make it seem so dramatic, did not help its case. Sonic is not meant to be dramatic like that. He's a fast-paced, hyperactive character, so showcasing his speed, his agility, his everything would have been much, much better than what they showed us today. Not to mention, with an open-world design, they should have leaned towards the momentum mechanics. I don't understand why they had to fixated themselves with the boost mechanic. It does not work. It's boring. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but it looks boring. Visually, yes, it looks amazing. There's no dispute in that. It looks absolutely phenomenal visually, but visuals cannot carry a game. Gameplays are more important. I don't care how hyped you are. I don't care how desperate you are. You have to acknowledge that that presentation was just boring. It was boring, and when I look at the stages, none of, none of it makes any sense. The, the aesthetic in the stages, the way things are placed, it doesn't even seem like it made any coherent sense. Like, uh, there better be some great backstory explaining why there's fucking rails floating up in the air. Because when you look at rails back in the older Sonic games, they fit with the aesthetic of the level design. It made sense. Yes, if, if from a real world perspective, you, could, you would question it, but because it's a Sonic world perspective, it made sense. Here, it legitimately looked like they just took an Unreal Engine 5 or 4, you know, demo stage, threw a bunch of Sonic aesthetic behind it, and then threw Sonic's forces model into it. I've been saying this for quite some time on this channel. The moment I saw Sonic Forces model, I knew they would have just ripped it out from the previous game and put it in. Now, you, some of you might be asking yourselves, why is Sonic Forces such a bad thing, right? If you've played the game, you would have realized that Sonic's Forces model design limits him in the way that he's expressive and the way that he moves in the game. Even when he was even when you were watching Sonic walking, bro, he was sliding as he was walking. It, they, they did not optimize this game. I'm going to be honest with you, they should delay this game. They should delay this game. It should not come out. I'm being quite frank with you. I don't want this game coming out like it. They should just delay it for another year. 2023 might be the year of Sonic. Because this is not it, bro. This is not it. I, I mean, I'm hoping, personally, that the stages, the, the unleashed stages are plentiful to make up for what we just saw today. No amount of hype for Sonic, no amount of admiration for Sonic will get me to say that this was a fun experience that I just witnessed. Everything about, I'm just gonna open this shit up one more time and just watch it in the background as I'm talking to you guys. Cause I'm still very much pissed off about what I saw. Like, yes, and even and even hearing that they, you know, they delayed it internally, I thought maybe, okay, they, they, they I don't know, this shit is pissing me off, bro. It's actually generally pissed me off because I've seen fan games. I've seen fan games that would looked looked much more fun to play. I mean, there's, there's one, I think. Um, let me see. I have some, some Sonic fan games on my computer, but I, I don't remember their names. Let me just give me two seconds. Okay. So there's, there's one. Sonic GT. It's a fan game that looks and plays so much more fun because they used momentum based movement. I don't understand why they did this. Sonic Omen plays way more fun, way more fun than what I just saw today. And these are two fun games. Bro, even the rebuilding of Sonic 06 
felt like it would play much much <laughs> much more fun i think the biggest problem about this is that just look at the level design again just just be honest with yourself why are there um <clears throat> why are there spring balls floating in the air randomly it legitimately looked like oh my god this this whole thing looked like a stage demo it does there's no way to, to dispute it anymore i know they're using the whole cyber world excuse but even still bro it, none of it makes any sense and then there was a point where sonic was climbing why would sonic ever have to climb unless he's stopping to pick up something that's on the wall he should never have to stop climb stop to climb he can just run blitz all of that stuff like what i didn't understand with the with the reveal of this gameplay is that why did they why did they make it seem like sonic has to walk around so slow i don't want to think of sonic walking around slow i want him to move i don't know I'm sorry, I just, I've waited so long for this, hoping, hoping, I mean, I, I, I don't know what the name of the director, is it Takashi or something like that, I can't remember his name, the director of this Sonic game, I knew the moment I saw his name, this was not gonna be good, I've been telling people consistently on this channel, um, temper your expectation, temper your expectation, and even still, even while I was tempering my expectation, and I didn't have any big hopes for this game, it does not look good. Bro, I promise you right now, somebody out there could replicate what we just saw today on their gameplay reveal. Because we have the Sonic model. They didn't even try to design a brand new Sonic model mm -hmm. to fit the world aesthetic that they're creating. They literally plugged out one of the, not the worst Sonic model, but one of the least favorable for a game like this. I don't know why they did this, bro. I'm, I'm still thinking about why, oh my god, even just looking at it now, I just really hate the Sonic model. I'm sorry, I just I just do. But why did they decide to just have Sonic walk around and do f just fuck all, really? Like, they could have had him do some missions, show us a glimpse of Sonic's storyline, what he's doing, what his aim, his purpose in being here. Seven minutes and they didn't show us nothing. I swear to you, seven minutes and they showed us nothing, bro. I give this two weeks. Two weeks and someone has already replicated everything that they saw on this. I'm um, sorry, I just hit the mic. I give this two weeks and they would have someone would have already replicated what they saw here today. Also, now that I think about it as well, there were things popping in and out as well. So this game is not very much optimized in a sense. There were spring balls and platforms popping in and out during the gameplay that I just witnessed. I don't know, bro. Also, not to, I mean, what's really bothering me about this is that because of the Sonic Forces model, it limits Sonic's expression, how he moves. Like, Sonic's supposed to be one of the most athletic, stylish, free-forming. He's supposed to be one of the coolest characters in video game history. Personally, obviously, but, you know, I think it's more understood that that's who he is. With the Sonic Forces model, he moves so boring. I can't stand this model. I knew something was off the moment that the first teaser for this trailer, for, sorry, the first teaser for this game just had Sonic standing there. I knew something was wrong when they just showed us landscapes, as if this was some type of prototype map demonstration for investors and, and, and stockholders, whatever the, the case may be. I knew something was off. This game is going to be boring. It's, I know what's funny, I'm going to be honest with you, I think this, this game is Purposely designed for people who like to play games on easy mode. The moment, uh, what's his name again? Is it Izuka or is it Takashi? I can't remember which one it is, but the director of this game, when he expressed that he wanted to make Sonic easier for people to play, I knew he, he was. Sonic franchise was going downhill. I knew. I knew. And now we're seeing it. Listen, you might be telling me, yo, wait till we play the game. Listen to me. We said the same thing for Sonic Forces, and look how that turned out. I'm sorry, but you can see when a game is about to be good, and you can see when the game has potential, and you can see when a game is about to be trash. I just can't. You can see nothing. We just saw something just move around, and it's like, no, bro. I don't know, man. I think this might be good, cool, 25 euros max. Maybe. Yeah, 25 euros max, 20 euros max. I don't think I'll even be paying full price for this. I've already learned my lesson from Sonic Forces, and now that I know that they're using the model, I don't know. Maybe the only stages might help, but now that I don't know, bro. I don't know. This just just they they have to have other characters available. It can't just be Sonic now. Even though they've tried to make it more gameplay designs that will fit for a one for sorry, 
and only Sonic gameplay? Nah, there has to be other characters now at this point. I just can't. I can't believe this. I can't believe this, bro. It's, I don't know. This is just not it, bro. This is just not it. In the slightest bit, I am so disappointed. I am so insanely disappointed at this. Oh my god, I'm, ho I'm really hoping the only stages are actually good. You know, so far all the leaks have been true, so at least the only stages might be might be good, bro. I don't know what they're going for. I can't tell if they're going for a Breath of the Wild, an Astral Chain aesthetic, or if they're going for fa Fantasy Star 2. I just, I just don't know. It literally just feels like they're just tacking fancy stuff around. Who is this going to impress, bro? Done. I I'm just done. This is this is not. Uh, you know what pisses me off actually is that they said that they were going to make this game a high budget game. What? They f I, here's what happened. They focus on the visual aspect only, and call and they're calling that shit high budget. But they but they forget the most important thing, which is the gameplay. But anyways, guys, um, that's it for me. Not really much else to say about this. Um, oh, whatever. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. I know I just ended the video, but I forgot to add one more thing that kind of annoyed me as well. Everything seemed very much automated. Like, they, they are taking control away from us. So much, I swear to you, bro. Ever since that dude, the director, said that he wanted to make something much, much easier, I knew it was just going downhill. I just knew. I just knew. Even, even when he was running up the wall, it looked automated. With, with the, oh, geez. How do you give, uh, how do you put automated stuff so much in an open world design? At least if, if they gave us more control on how we can approach certain things and use, you know, position and, you know, skill to, to platform, it'd be great. But now, nah, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. I'm out.